Take a look at this. A garbage truck driver had to dump a huge load of trash right there in the middle of a neighborhood. It happened near 63rd Avenue and Earl. We're told that a fire actually started in the hopper of the truck. As per safety protocol, the driver dumped the entire load on the street and called 911. Luckily, there was no property damage and everything has been cleaned up. Well, believe it or not, this is actually a common problem. The city of Goodyear is incorporating a new system to try to lower the amount of trash truck fires in the community. 12 News journalist Troy Lynch is in Goodyear breaking down how it works. The message is think before you throw away because the city of Goodyear so far this year has seen three different trash truck fires, which costs everybody and it's not just the people driving the truck but I want to show you some of the usual suspects on what is causing these trash truck fires it's the lithium ion or the rechargeable batteries most of them they can combust while they're in the hopper or in the truck they're being compacted and when they rub together that can spark a fire so you got your vapes you got your laptops and just other rechargeable batteries those are the usual suspects when people don't know and they throw it away and then that could cause fires. I do want to bring in Adam Kurtz, who's the superintendent here at Solid Waste in the city of Goodyear. And we're talking a little bit about this pilot program. Now, this pilot program, super cool. It's been in the works for, what, 10 months now? Yeah. Yeah. So what exactly is it? So exactly well, what it is is it, it, it's essentially a smoke detector in a truck for our drivers, right? So it makes it, it takes the guesswork out if there's a fire in the truck or not. So this actually alerts them that there's a fire burning in the back of the truck. So they're using these two different sensors. They got this in the hopper of the truck. And what exactly does this do? And like, when do the truck drivers get an alert? So I like to call it predator vision. So it actually yeah. looks like it's looking for heat sources inside the back of the truck. And we have two of those mounted on the, on the top of the truck and it's actually looking into the hopper where all the material is at. Once it gets over 200 degrees, that's when the truck driver, they get notified, and then what did they do after that? Yeah, so they'll get a notification on this tablet that sits on the dashboard, and what it'll do is it'll actually send an alert out, and it'll notify the driver that there is a positive confirmation that there's a fire in the back of the truck. How costly are truck fires, maybe to you guys and also the community? Well, to the community and just in general, I mean, uh, it's property damage, it's, it could it could catch fires on houses or anything like that. Any one of these trucks, anywhere from four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars to replace. You guys had a truck earlier this year that needed to be repaired and it took three months. Yeah, it did. And uh, it, it took it out of service too. So that, that puts us at a disadvantage for providing the service. I mean, you guys only have seven trucks. So any time it needs to be repaired or replaced, yeah. that hurts you guys a lot. And you guys do such a good service for the community that they just can't afford that. So nobody probably is aware that these can be really dangerous just to throw away. Right, and you know, and again, without outreach and education, which we're really pushing right now too, uh, we're just letting people know, hey, you know, just think before you throw stuff away. Yeah, and so what should people be doing? So if they're like, okay, I can't throw it away in my household trash can, wh what do people do? Uh, you know, and this goes for any municipality. Go to, go to your city's website, type in what you're trying to throw away, uh, it'll tell you what, what the safest alternatives to, to get rid of this stuff. Uh, one of them is going to Staples or Best Buy or, uh, yeah, Home Depot, Staples, like I said, or Batteries Plus, or any uh, household hazardous waste program. So most mun municipalities have some type of a household hazardous waste program that will take these as well. Great to know. Well, think before you throw away. Adam, thank you so much yeah. for your time. Yeah. We really appreciate it. But we're here in Goodyear. Troy Lynch, we'll send things back to you.